The latest patch brought on a lot of changes, and I'm sure many May players are lamenting the severe nerfs that her dolphin attack got. However, there are a couple of cool new things she can do now too. Overall, her general playstyle hasn't changed too much, and she's still in a fine spot. She is not a weak character at all. But you are going to have to play much more methodically and carefully from now on. First, let's go over the horizontal dolphin nerfs. By reducing the lower hitbox, it can no longer interrupt a forward punch attack, meaning that forward punch is a hard counter to dolphin. The dolphin can practically be inside the opponent, but you'll still lose to the forward punch. You'll have to be much more cautious about it now and try to bait out your opponent. Since there's no realistic way to react to a slash dolphin, it's still an okay option to just throw out there, but do keep in mind that it's still minus 5 on block. On the other hand, slash dolphin is excellent for punishing whiffed attacks, although the reward isn't great without meter to extend the combo. All that being said, slash dolphin is still a killer on counter hit. You just have to be doubly cautious on when you use it. Furthermore, again due to the lower hitbox reduction, Horizontal Dolphin can no longer defeat Eno's Stroke the Big Tree or Soul Bad Guy's Night Raid Vortex. That wouldn't be too big of a deal ordinarily, but the fact that Mei is also prevented from proceeding over them is a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. Needless to say, both of these characters are now especially dangerous against Mei. All three of them have quick traversal attacks, and it used to be that Mei could beat both of them. However, the patch has now completely reversed this. When you're up against Sol and Eno, you'll need to be doubly cautious. Try to rely on your normal attacks to keep them at bay as best you can. There were some buffs too, although it's debatable how substantial some of these are. One of the buffs claims that the opponent now falls closer to Mei after doing the Dust Sweep, making it easier to combo into Vertical Dolphin, something I often try to do myself before the patch anyway. I suppose the buff is nice, although I honestly don't see that much of a difference, I'm still missing half the time anyway. Another buff, which is very welcome, at least theoretically, is that Vertical Dolphin now has a reduced hurt box when rising upwards. Now, I say theoretically because, again, I'm not really seeing too much of a difference here. For example, I'm still trading with Soul's Bandit Bringer, if not outright losing. Vertical Dolphin is still a good option in many situations, but don't look at the patch notes and assume that you have a Junior Dragon Punch. It's not that good. Now, onto a couple of universal changes that every character got, but we're just focusing on May. One of the stranger changes is that you can now roam and cancel at any time during a grab. Without a doubt, this is meant to add on a little more challenge to grab combos. Instead of mashing roam and cancel during the grab animation, you now have to time it properly. And if you mistime it, then your damage and combo potential will suffer greatly. That being said, I was trying to look for ways to make it work, and... Technically, I did manage to find something, although it's not all it's hyped up to be. If you have your opponent in the corner, then you can roam and cancel overhead kiss during the initial throw, and then do a fully charged forward heavy. This combo is, surprisingly, a pretty efficient use of meter, but only in a best case scenario. Depending on the wall break's current durability, it's very possible that the wall will break early and cut your combo short. Again, in a best case scenario, this is actually an okay use of meter, but I don't know about how reliable it is, and if you're already in the corner then you can do a combo without using meter anyway. Similarly, there's this variation that uses Mr. Yamada immediately after Roman Cancel but you need to be just the right distance from the corner to make it work, on top of having proper timing. It's really cool, but I wouldn't say that it's practical. Another universal change is the ability to double jump cancel and air dash cancel off of most air attacks. This can allow Mei to pretend that she's Melia, which is cute and all, 
but realistically, she's too slow for this to be a decent mix-up. Maybe you'll catch someone off guard since it's not something Mei is expected to do, but I wouldn't count on this too much. The real impact of this addition is to allow characters more freedom in doing air combos. And Mei can do some cool things, like this for example. That is pretty cool, and making it almost entirely dust attacks does help manage the damage scaling a lot. However, at the end of the day, you can still do equivalent or better damage by just sticking with the usual stuff that already works. That being said, do keep in mind that the ground bounce off of Mei's forward heavy and her wall bounce attacks as well have all had their properties altered. What this means is that dumb stuff like this can happen. Go into training mode and practice the timing for those wall bounce combos. You might also have to mix in crouching slash into standing heavy when appropriate. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but you are going to need to be more precise with the timing from now on. Unfortunately, I only have two new combos to share. I do think they are really good, but they're both pretty situational. So if you can't get them down, I don't think you'll be missing much. But if you're looking for something more advanced, then I think these two combos are good to have in your back pocket. Here's the first one. Alright, 250 damage for 1 meter and a wall break? That's not half bad at all. Part of the catch is that it's only guaranteed to work off of a counter hit from a heavy Mr. Dolphin. Or, it can also work from Slash Dolphin as long as the opponent does not get a gold recovery. On top of that, you need to already have meter ahead of time, you need to react to the counter hit quickly, and you need to get the timing of that blue Roman cancel. But if you can manage all of that, then this is actually pretty good and not that difficult to pull off once you've practiced it. If you know you're too far away from the corner to make use of the wall bounce, then you can opt for the juggle combo that you should already be familiar with for just under 200 damage. Once again, not a bad use of meter. This next combo, arguably, might be even more situational. Forward Heavy is one of Mei's most oppressive attacks in the corner, since her timing with it can be unpredictable, a fully charged version leads to a guard crush, and it's the strongest normal attack she has in her repertoire. So we want to look for any excuse we can to start our combos with it. Three hundred and fifty damage with only one meter is no joke. Don't get me wrong, I know we can get close to three hundred without any meter if you land a standing heavy on an airborne opponent, but hey, we're looking to create as many opportunities as we can here. If you're willing to spend additional meter, you can also end the combo with Goshu Gawara when the wall stick happens. As awesome as this combo is, if you've got someone in the corner staring down the business end of Maze Forward Heavy, it's pretty unlikely that they're going to do anything other than block. Not to mention that Forward Heavy will still lose against invincible uppercuts and super moves, so do be aware of your opponent's options. But if they try anything funny and they get caught, you can make them pay real bad. Are we going to get a burst base sock? It'll be definitely tricky. Just tries to get the charge dust. Not gonna be able to oh, get it. Oh, this is gonna hurt. 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 Oh
like will. Oh my goodness. Gotcha. Let's see. You bet, boy. Great, you're not out. There you go. Well, that's about everything I have to say. For the most part, May hasn't changed too much, with the exception that her dolphin is much easier to punish now, so you need to be more cautious about when and how you use it. Otherwise, I think it's mostly business as usual. I hope this was useful, I hope you learned something. Keep practicing, keep doing your best, and good luck out there. Thanks for watching. Let's rock. Let's go. 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 Let's go